Hello and welcome to another video from Natasha Lee. Now this week I am so excited because I got my silver play button and so I wanted to do some nails that were inspired by it. Now there's a bit of a story about how they've gone from silver to gold which I'll explain later but I wanted something that was play button inspired and in line with the geometric fashion that's in at the moment. Stay tuned to find out how to produce these wonderful nails. As always, I'm going to begin by cleansing, filing and performing cuticle work on my nails. Now I'm cleansing with 99% isopropyl alcohol and there is a link in the top right corner to find out how I look after my nails. Then I'm going to go in with my favourite peel off base coat which is Unts ready for take off and we're going to apply a nice even layer to all the nails on one hand. I say one hand because it makes it a bit easier. And then we're going to go in with some nice silver nail polish and this one is a Barry M foil effects. Now it is discontinued but I think there are some links down in the description of where you might be able to get hold of it still. If not, any silver nail polish will do. Just clean up any mistakes with a brush dipped in nail polish remover or pure acetone. When your silver polish is dry, simply go over the top with some foil adhesive and do this nice and carefully over the whole nail and try to avoid any bubbles or getting too close to the skin. And full links to all the products are in the description down below. Whilst that's drying, I'm just going to go with some liquid latex barrier around my nail and apply this on. This is because I'm going to be using a silver chrome dust or pigment and it can get a bit everywhere so this will just help with the clean up a little bit. And you'll know when your foil adhesive is dry as you can see here because it goes from being blue to clear. If you do get any of your liquid latex around the nail just use a brush to clean it off as we don't want it to stick to our peel off base coat. And then I'm going to take Tiara from Magpie which is a beautiful silver dust and we're just going to burnish this into that foil adhesive. As you can see, it's absolutely stunning. It's so pretty. But you can also tell now why I've put the liquid latex on around the nail because it really does help with that clean up afterwards. And just look at that shine compared to the normal silver nail polish. Oh, oh, that's why you shouldn't stick your fingers together when you have liquid latex on. And just because I think it's so mesmerising watching this dust being applied, I'm going to show you doing it again on another nail. And we're actually going to apply this dust to all of our nails. And you can see I'm really briskly brushing this in. It has been sped up slightly, but it does give that amazing mirror effect. And this dust is fantastic with gel polishes as well. Then I'm just going to peel off that liquid latex barrier from around the nail. That was nice and clean. I wouldn't be able to do that again. And if there's any excess around the nail, you can actually just clean it off with a brush dipped in nail polish remover or acetone. Now I'm going in with a water-based top coat and I normally do this when I'm using regular polish with a foil adhesive because if you use normal top coat over the foil adhesive, it seems to make it sort of wrinkle and craze. However, I haven't had a problem using tiara before and this time it seemed to transform the tiara and it got more increasingly noticeable over time. So I applied two layers of my Sun Coat water-based top coat to try and avoid it going at all crazy because I wanted it to stay really smooth and chromey. However, it started to turn my silver tiara dust very, very cold. That didn't stop me though, so it's straight in with some metal dotting tools and my current favourite black, which is this sparkly one called Natasha's Dance, War and Peace. Now I'm applying a dot to the sort of centre of the nail, a third from the cuticle, and that's because when I'm working under camera, it's really, really hard to paint to the centre of your nail because you're working through the viewfinder instead of above. Then I'm going to go in with my striping brush and we're just going to form a triangle shape and this is sort of for our play button. And the best way to get really even lines, I find, is to take your striper brush and stroke it through your polish a few times like I have done. And when you can see that the polish is evenly loaded over the brush, then you can apply it straight onto the nail slowly and carefully. At the moment I'm working on my little finger and I'm doing a slightly more basic design on the little finger, index finger and thumb and then a more detailed design on the middle finger and ring finger. What I'm basically producing is just a thicker chevron first with my striper brush and I sort of just played with this design as I was going. I didn't have any hard and fast ideas of what I definitely wanted to do. 
and I just created a smaller triangle inside. And then taking a nice gold foil polish, I decided to fill in the chevron. And this was the irony, I thought that the gold would look nice against the silver, but my silver was rapidly turning gold. So it was all going to match anyway, really. Because I can't ever leave anything alone, I decided to add another gold chevron on top of the black one. And then to finish off the look, I added a black dot to the top. And this was the same on my little index and thumb. Now for the middle and ring finger, I really wanted to embrace that play button triangle. So I started again with a basic chevron, which was a little bit wonky, as you can see. So it's quite easy, you just keep thickening up the chevron until it doesn't look wonky. And these are the secrets behind the professional nail tutorials, peoples. They're not always perfect, and more often than not, mine really aren't. And quite often my designs change as I go along to fit with my mistakes. So here I am just trying to straighten this one back up so it doesn't look quite so ski whiff. And I think it's important to show you all these sort of mistakes and these sort of problems that you do encounter because I know from experience in the past, I used to watch some nail tutorials and think, there is no way I can do that. The reality is a lot of things go wrong and we have the opportunity to edit them out, which you don't at home. So instead, I want to show you how to fix them. And so I'm going inside that chevron with gold and this gives you another opportunity to fix up any of the wonkiness in any of the lines. And I really want to bring in that play button triangle here. So I'm using my gold polish to fill in all of the inside of that chevron. You really don't have to use gold though. I've just chosen to do this because the next play button award up from silver is gold. So I thought this might be a bit of a homage to my next aim. Then I'm going around the outside of that black chevron with some nice detailing in the gold stripe. And again, this will help you to even up any wonky lines that you might have because any mistakes in the gold won't actually be as noticeable. You can see that you can keep going back in until you get the line perfect. You don't have to do it all in one go if you're not comfortable with it. Then I'm going around the outside of that gold line with another black line and this is just to really set it apart from that silver dust underneath. And take your time doing this because you want it to look really sharp and like stamping really. And that is another alternative. If you have any geometric stamping designs, you can use those instead. Then I'm doing a straight line across the bottom of the nail, which I'm going to curve around the cuticle area, but then go straight to create that gold play button triangle. And I've also added a dot to the top of the design just to pull the whole thing together. Clean up around the cuticle area with a brush dipped in nail polish remover or acetone and then you are ready to apply your top coat. Now I am applying a lot of top coat here because I really, really don't want to drag that black polish underneath and smear the design. I want this to stay super crisp and sharp. And so what I'm doing first is I'm going in with one layer of top coat and making sure that it's really perfect around the cuticle line, allowing it to dry before I go in with a second layer of top coat. If you flood the cuticle area too much, just clean up with a brush dipped in nail polish remover or acetone. Then you're ready to apply your cuticle oil and just apply this on the skin around the nails once your top coat is dry and then massage in. And once you've rubbed in any of the excess oil, your finished design is ready and these are so sparkly. And here it is with my play button and I need to say the biggest, biggest thank you to each and every one of you, my amazing friends and subscribers, because without you guys, I would not have reached this. Every single one of you has helped me get here, and thank you so much. I'm so excited to actually have the play button up on my wall, and my kids were over the moon when it arrived. Let's keep going and get ready for the next one at 1 million for the gold play button. In the meantime, if you aren't a subscriber, subscribe for nail art tutorials every Saturday. Thank you so much everyone, I can't wait to show you what we've got coming this year. I have so many ideas, all nail polish based, obviously. Thank you and don't forget to check out my other videos and my playlists and also my vlogs are coming back this week on my second channel. Thank you very much everyone.